Also, tackling the growing crisis in California, Oakland city officials are planning to shut down a homeless site outside of a Home Depot next month. Here now is James Freeman from the Wall Street Journal. He is also a Fox News contributor. This is just one of those stories, James. Um, you know, it, so Home Depot says that they were complaining about um, employee safety and store security in the county where this is. Homelessness is up 47% versus the last time they did the survey two years ago. They were paying $100 an hour to for a patrol to go around the Home yeah. Depot and try and keep it safe. I mean, yeah, at, at what point does the city help out a business? Yeah, that's the question. It's another one of those... Uh, entries in the annals of dysfunction in your uh, beloved home state of California. Mm -hmm. You wonder how long do businesses have to be patient before they move out? We know hundreds of thousands of people are moving out of California every year, but this is a situation where Home Depot, I think, uh, uh, really has been waiting years for the city to take some action. They're finally promising to start Monday and complete over the next several weeks uh, a move uh, of the people living in this. It's essentially a village that has grown up around a Home Depot uh, it's got, uh, including materials stolen from the Home Depot, uh, stolen cars, some recreational vehicles, uh, dozens of people living there all the time. And, and the company uh, has uh, had threats against employees. There was an incident with uh, someone coming out of one of the RVs uh, brandishing a weapon when two employees were out in the lot. So it's uh, it's really way beyond what any yeah. business should be asked to tolerate. So, so that's the extreme version, but there is stuff like this going on all over the country. I mean, yeah. I think about Starbucks here in the city. Um, you know, you know which ones to go to. Some you go in, and there are a lot of homeless people who can be threatening or menacing. Um, you know, I was in one recently with a, another woman who said, we, we need to leave. She was so uncomfortable with the person next to her yelling. Um, you know, at, at what point cities have liberal policies where they want to let people live, but when it begins to encroach on citizens' personal safety, why do we see some cities you think still not getting involved? Yeah, and public safety is absolutely the uh, the city's responsibility, and I and I think uh, it's not just as you pointed out; it's unreasonable to ask a business to address these kind of uh, societal problems. But it's also difficult in this environment we're in, uh, in terms of a tight job market. I mean, you you mm -hmm. obviously are going to have to pay a barista more if they have to clean up lots of abandoned needles in the bathroom. And same thing with the Home Depot. If if part of the gig is uh, dealing with a, an unsafe, threatening environment in the parking lot, uh, it's going to yeah. be tough to recruit people. I, I wonder if the businesses have a legal remedy. I mean, because it would be easy to quantify sort of what the cost is. I, if your I, business is going down, it seems like you could sue the city. I think Home Depot has tried. I mean, they've been writing letters. It, it's kind of to their credit. I guess they've been patient. They haven't been making that much noise about it. But mm. they've been sending letters to the uh, the Oakland government for really for years now saying this is an issue and you've got to address it. I, I'm surprised they haven't threatened to leave by now. And, I know at least some politicians locally are, are assuming that comes next if they don't get it cleaned up. Wow, James, all right, thank you for that. Thanks, Melissa. All right.